Hello everyone, I'm Chef Chris. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Chef underscore Chris B. Press the subscribe button um, and follow me. Um, so today I'm going to be cooking roasted fish, roasted potato and roasted Brussels sprouts. So, um, you know, I'm on that healthy journey. I cook different type of food, but um, today we're going to be cooking some Jamaican food. Traditional roasted stuff, fish. And the type of fish I'm using today is um, snapper. I've already prepared the snapper from last night. So today, I'm pretty much going to bake it. What's in here is pretty much um, scallion, thyme, ginger, onion. Traditionally, we use um, kalalu in Jamaica, but I don't have none right now, so I'll be using bok choy. You can also use um, spinach. So I pretty much spinach, kalalu, and bok choy. It's up to you, your preference. So you pretty much um you can pretty much season your fish from overnight. Um salt and black pepper, season salt if you want. Salt and black pepper is fine. And you pretty much season both inside and outside of the fish. When you're stuffing it, you pretty much stuff it with scallion, thyme, onion, and of course um you could also add okra. Some people chose to add okra. You could add okra if you want. If you don't want, it's fine. Um, but it's all a matter of preference. Um, when before you put it in the oven, you pretty much put olive oil on it. And you don't want it to be sticking to the foil paper. You also add a stick of butter just on the outside. You could put some in, inside the fish as well if you want the fish to be moist. Put some more black pepper. And then you cover the entire fish with foil paper. And make sure it's covered completely before you put it in the oven. And while you're doing all of this, you can um, pretty much turn the oven on, put it to 350 degrees. So at 350 degrees, for 30 minutes, between 30 to 45 minutes, then your fish should be good. All right, I'm also gonna be doing some Brussels sprouts and roasted potatoes. So you gotta make sure that you wash your potato like thoroughly. I've already washed it, but I just wanna wash it again. Um, So for your potato, you're going to need olive oil, black pepper salt, and some minced garlic. It's important that the garlic is finely minced because you don't want chunks of garlic in your potato. Okay, so for the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to put um, a small amount of olive oil over the entire Brussels sprouts. And also, before you put the Brussels sprouts in the container, ensure that the, oil, the container itself have oil in the bottom, so the Brussels sprout doesn't stick to the container. So you want to oil your, your, whatever you're using, whatever sheet tray or sheet pan you want to use. Ensure to oil the bottom before you put the Brussels sprouts in it. Then you're going to season it with 
Just a little bit of salt, maybe like one teaspoon of salt. You don't want it to be too salty. And some black pepper. And I use peppercorn. So I use the whole black pepper. To me, it have more, more flavor, more spicy that way to me. That, just a matter of preference, but you could also use regular black pepper, it's up to you. And then some minced garlic. And some butter. You don't want to put too much, but at the same time you want it to be a little bit moist. And that's it. Alright, so for for the roasted potato, what you want to do is you want to cut a wedgie, a wedge. So you could put like butter. And salt and pepper in the middle. You got a container, you put maybe like tea, teaspoon full, full of um, salt and one teaspoon of black pepper just for seasoning sake. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna combine your olive oil, maybe like three three teaspoon of olive oil and one teaspoon of minced garlic. So you're gonna combine the olive oil with minced garlic. And that is what you're gonna use to base the potato both inside and outside. So today I'm gonna do like three potatoes. So you use the olive oil with the garlic and you rub it all over the potato. Ensure you get both inside and outside. You get a salt and pepper, a pinch of salt and pepper both inside and outside. So you rub the entire potato with salt and pepper. You get one teaspoon of butter, put it inside the potato and then you close by the potato with the wedge. So when you close it back you get foil paper Then you cover with the entire potato with foil paper. You do the same thing. Ensure that you get oil and garlic over the entire potato. Salt and pepper. Get butter.
I'll prep everything already, but I wanted you to show. I wanted to show you the, the process from from scratch. The Brussels sprout should take like 20 minutes to should take like 15 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put the Brussels sprout last and the oil. Potatoes should take like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put the potato first in the oven. Cause I'm trying to get everything to finish at the same time. Around about the same time. You could also use red skin potatoes. So, the type of potato you use is all the matter of preference. Alright. So remember, before you start your prep, you could turn the oven on just to preheat it for like maybe 15 minutes or so. And I'm putting the potato first in. The potato should take like 45 minutes there about to finish roast. Um, the Brussels sprouts you could also add some guard, some some thyme leaves on it. Some other preference. You know some people, not everyone like. Not everyone like time, but I personally I like time in most of my food. Like I like the the flavor and the taste of it. So instead of using the entire time, pretty much just take off the leaves, so it's more edible. It, Alright, so that's that's it for my prep. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put everything in the oven. Like I said, the potatoes should take like 45 minutes there about to finish. The roasted fish should take between 30 minutes, 35 minutes to finish. The Brussels sprouts should take like 15 minutes. So I already put the potato in. Maybe in like in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna put in the fish, and then after I put in potatoes. Okay, so everything is finished. I'm going to show you the end results. So this is the Brussels sprouts. Yum. My fish. So it should come out just like this. This is my potato. Should be soft and moist. So your knife should be able to go through just as easy. Okay guys, so this is the finished product um, of our cooking journey for today. So this is our traditional roasted stuffed fish, um, roasted potato and roasted Brussels sprouts. 